Got to shake the cobwebs out. It's a little bit like going to a tournament where you start out early in the morning or in the afternoon. And what are some of the keys that you feel like are important today? These are presented by Riverwind Resorts. But we mentioned before that someone needs to step up. With two wrestlers out of the lineup, they're disadvantaged. They've got an opportunity right now at 125 pounds to set the pace. Your series history is a relatively lengthy one between these two sides. 19 previous duels between them. Sooners lead 16 to 3, including a 21 to 16 win up in Laramie last year. Sooners look for their 17th dual win over the Cowboys. And your head coaches, the Sooners Lou Roselli in his first season, and what a turnaround he has orchestrated with this team. They are 8-2 and two since the turn of the new year. Some lineup changes, better wrestling, guys more focused, and things are pointed in the right direction for the Sooner first-year head coach. Mark Branch is in his ninth season as the head coach at Wyoming. For six years, he was associate head coach at Oklahoma State, four-time NCAA finalist, and a two-time national champion as a collegiate wrestler. You see, they are 7-5, and five, and they come in on a roll with six straight dual wins. Well, Mark Branch was a great wrestler, and he's an outstanding coach, and he loves to win. That's what he's looking to do tonight. Series history presented by OU Outreach. It's your degree. Go get it. OUoutreach.org. To so the captains getting word, and Sooners will have the adjustments in the lineup today. When I mean, you're talking about Andrew Dixon unable to go, Clark Glass, who is one of your ranked wrestlers. So at 157 pounds, Jared Sheever will get a chance to go. What are the big swing bouts do you feel like in this duel today? Well, there's one of them right here. 141 is a great place to pull an upset. That's going to be tough because Bryce Meredith can wrestle. 165 is also a crucial bout. We will just see with the Sooners how DeWayland Barnes responds to basically being up three weight classes today at 184 pounds when we roll around to that bout. So Christian Moody out there for the Sooners against 15th ranked Drew Templeman. Templeman is a senior, NCAA qualifier at 125 a year ago. And he started out this season at 133 pounds. His first 10 bouts were at 133. He was 6-4. and He's 9-1 and one since dropping down to 125 for the Cowboys. So well, you can see why he was at 133, because that is a big boy. And that was a good shot and a nice counter by Christian Moody. What Christian's going to want to do is set a fast pace and see if the weigh-in had an impact on Drew. Christian, 8-2 and two since the turn of the new year, including a win over Missouri's 14th-ranked Barlow McGee, two-time Oklahoma Class 5A state champion, Collinsville. Really got off to a great start after the new year. Was Big 12 Wrestler of the Week for the week of January the 9th. Drew Templeton has a real big win over Josh Rodriguez, number four ranked wrestler from North Dakota State in the past. So he can wrestle. Templeton's won his last nine bouts. Well, as I mentioned before, Christian Moody has the tools, and he's not afraid to compete. I'd like to see a little quicker pace here. Is this a situation you talk about weights, and if you Wyoming, you have to make weight, and then you might like to eat a little something or get yourself ready. But you got to go wrestle Oklahoma State later tonight and make weight once again up the road in Stillwater. No, actually, they only weigh in one. Okay. When you have two competitions in a day, you only weigh in once. But Wyoming wanted to draw. Okay, rather than start at 125, they actually ironically drew 125. And they wanted to draw for a reason because this is a big boy. Stalling warning there issued to Christian Moody. And what's interesting about that is his offense is being frustrated by that two-on-one that Meredith has. So he wants to keep a short right arm and not get that arm tied up. It's a duck right off that underhook, panking to the duck. Templeman is a senior from Fording, Washington, 57-32 and 32 for his career. He's a four-time Washington State champion, and of course Christian Booty was a two-timer. So both these guys with high profiles coming out of high school. 
Templeton was fourth in the Big 12 last year. Did the same thing last year. Went from 133 down to 125. And he's done that again this year. No scoring. 15 seconds remaining. Period number one. And Wyoming had actually recruited a great 125-pounder a few years ago. Young man by the name of Doyle. There you see the strength, by the way, of Drew Templeman. The strength and size. But recruited a young man by the name of Doyle Trout. He was a four-time Nebraska state champion, and as you're aware, had a tragic car accident. He actually weighed in. He's sitting on the bench with crutches, and what a heroic story that is. Mm -hmm. Lost his leg in that accident, but continues to wrestle collegiately. And as you said, Coach Spates is on the bench, weighed in today for the Cowboys, but not wrestling at 125. Well, we got out of the first period tie. But that warning could be big, especially if we keep giving up that arm. Now he's moving his hands a little more. Good job. Templeman gets the first point on an escape. Moody tries to shoot. Templeman counters. I like the way Christian Moody competes. There's a couple of situations so far where he's been in a little bit of trouble and he doesn't stop moving. Sweep single. Oof. Get height. You want height in a scramble? And he has it. What he's going to try and do is turn that leg. Sweep that. Oh, oh. That could be points right there. Angel Rivera is our referee in charge today. No points awarded out of this scramble just yet. Still nothing. He's in a little bit of danger here. Templeman's going to post his hand and get height. Great scramble. Some good wrestling. Get under the arm. Oh, watch the Peterson here. Good presence. You want to straighten that leg out now. Wow, he's got his foot. Stalemate call. No scoring out of that. I think he made the right call. I really do. Taking off my sooner glasses for, <laughs> for a little. Christian Moody has been on the mat with five wrestlers ranked in the top 15. This is the sixth top 15 guy he has faced this year. Has one win over a ranked wrestler this year. That over Barlow McGee. But he's Missouri. competing stronger and stronger each match and doing a great job right here. The question is, can he get off bottom? Against a bigger wrestler. One to nothing, Templeman. Only point on an escape. So Moody will have to escape to tie this bout. No significant riding time built either way as we move to the third. Good bout, lot of action. Clean start. A claw ride by Templeman. Christian has the hand keep your knees to your chest when he pulls you back. Now some riding time being built by Drew Templeman. They become significant. And watch the tilts here. Well, right here, Drew Templeman looks like his mentor because Mark Branch was one of the all-time great leggers. Templeman still unable to tilt Moody just yet. But he is approaching riding time. Well, and the crowd and the coaches are crying stalemate. But honestly, there are counters to legs. You just have to do them. There's a minute of riding time now for Templeman. So in effect now, it's a 2-0 lead for the Wyoming wrestler. And there. that actually was a good call because he wasn't able to improve his position. So I'll stand correct. There were no cautions or warnings, I should say, issued in there. He should have his elbows to his knees and his knees to his elbows to keep that leg from coming in. That caution was issued to Templeman. And 
there's a caution issued Moody. That first start is real important. You can explode to your feet, a lot better chance of getting away. Little grabby attempt. Got to watch scrambling on bottom. There's the problem. Ah, got away with only a one count. Use that wizard. Now, Christian Moody can throw. He showed that against Barlow McGee. He can also scramble, diving through the legs. I don't think they're going to give two there. So no reversal. No points. Stalemate again. Terrific action. Mark Ranch is over. He wants to challenge. Well, and the thing about that situation right there is they could have given two there because on reversals, you don't have to have control. It's just a reversal position. 21 seconds left here in the third. Mark Ranch is asking about challenging something. What do you think he is asking about a challenge of? He might have been looking for some back points uh -huh. on the scrambles. I'm not sure. I don't think he was there for two seconds. Maybe he wants to alert him to be alert to that. So that is being reviewed, as you can see. In the meantime, this gives Christian Moody a moment to catch his breath. He's got 21 seconds to try to get away and tie this bout. The problem is he will not be able to eradicate the riding time of Drew Templeman. So Templeman has a 2-0 lead because of the 136 of riding time. So now... Moody not only has to escape, he's got to counter and get a takedown. Well, and with short time, so that first move is going to be real important. Maybe hit a turn and a grabby off of it, a clean grabby, but his deficit has not been for lack of wrestling. This guy has come to wrestle. So the review continues. Hope to get word on it. One of the things is I, uh, Coach Lou Rizelli and I were just conversing. You don't have to have control on uh, a reversal. reversal. Just reversal of position. I actually think he had that. They could have given two. There's Mark Branch. Who asked for the review. Yeah, I'd be curious to find out what indeed he is protesting here. But it also has given his wrestler a very strategic break. So that might be match strategy right there. Is it advantage one way or the other with this little breather? Well, when a guy's big and he's cutting a lot of weight, it can be an advantage. But to Drew Templeman's credit, he hasn't given any indication of uh, gassing. And he just said after further review, no back points. So that is exactly what the review is all about. 21 seconds. Moody tries to explode. He Jump should have been counting already there. Nice escape. But now he needs a takedown. It's 1-1, but Templeman has riding time secure of one point. So Moody's got to get a takedown here. Templeman able to ward him off. And when you tack on the riding time point, it'll be a 2-1 victory for 15th ranked through Templeman. A decision giving Wyoming an early 3-0 lead. Christian Moody was ready to go against the 15th ranked wrestler. Absolutely wrestling. great bout, great bout for the fans. And even though he didn't win, Longo has five bonus point wins in this span of 10 straight bouts won. But he's out there with the good one, Bryce Meredith, number eight in the country. And it's interesting because both these wrestlers are beasts on top. The question is, who's going to be more beastly? Or who's going to win the battle of the feet? two bouts today close Wyoming winning two to one at 125 and then in sudden victory at 133 but they have a 6-0 lead in the duel there's Longo in for the first points nice go behind by Mike Longo Wyoming coaches protesting but it, there is no reaction time and there's the escape by Meredith Bryce Meredith came out of nowhere last year to run all the way to the NCAA finals and he went through murderer's row to do it this young man can wrestle. Nearly won a national championship. He lost to Dean Heil of Oklahoma State 3-2 to two in the finals, or else he would have been the champion. And in talking to Coach Branch, the impact this young man has had on his team since transferring. He went to North Carolina 
state first. Every guy we talk about, Bryce Meredith has made this guy better. He's, he's feeling the Bryce Meredith effect. Bryce Meredith has helped this guy. That's what happens when you get a great one and one that wants it so bad it impacts everybody else. No near fall points here just yet. Longo trying to scramble out of this situation. Get height, get height. Height wins scrambles. Post that left hand. Post the hand. There you go. But Meredith is a prolific scramble. He's not going to be easy to finish on, but Mike's doing the right stuff. He's going to want to try and chirp that leg. Good action here early at 141. Crowd applauding its approval. Mike Longo came to OU wanting to be an All-American, expecting to be an All-American and more. And the way he's wrestling, he's got a shot. Longo transferred from Appalachian State. He's been on quite a run. Not just wins, bonus point wins, which have been big for this Sooner team. Last week against South Dakota State, had a major decision, then had a technical fall against Northern Iowa. Well, he can rip your shoulder off when he gets those legs in with a power half. His last loss was December the 29th, Longo. A short time? Ah, that's a, an unanswered two hurts. I, I like the way that Drew Templeman is, is controlling the action. He's got most of the movement. Longo desperately trying to get out and get an escape point, but as you said, it was an unanswered two there for Meredith. We look at the takedown again. Elbow pass by there. And nice go behind by Mike Longo. Got the angle, had the two. It's like Bryce Meredith is having a little struggle with a contact lens. But they have that taken care of. Longo will start on top here in period two. T is the first move. Got to keep him down to get the boots in. Good pressure forward. Get those arms forward. Put the boots in. He's not in great shape right there. And out goes Meredith. Bryce Meredith wrestles hard. He has a 4-2 lead here, second period. Over collar, close to a single. Caught us reaching just a little bit. Wrestling in scrambles. There's two more for Meredith. Longo trying to get out. And he does get out before they went out of bounds. The boys have come to wrestle. Once again, another action-packed match. So 6-3 Meredith, he got the takedown. Longo just before they went outside the circle got his escape. Those knees bent, protect those ankles. He's kind of hanging that hand. He's not keeping his forearm down on that collar tie, and it's costing him. But he does have an opportunity to scoop behind here, put a boot in. Still no takedown awarded. Longo hanging on. And best we're getting a stalemate here. 20 seconds for Longo to avoid. And he does a good job keeping from having two more scored there. No, it's a 6-3 score, but it's a closer match. Than and no riding time, just five seconds in favor of Meredith. Bryce Meredith is timing our reaches. He's a long wrestler as well. He's very taller. 
Longer guy than his long go. So we'll go to the third with Meredith on top, 6-3. to three, And no riding time of significance one way or the other. Wow. As you get out, great time to attack. A one and a two. And that ties it up. Caution issue. Clean start this time. I'll go try to stand and get out. There's the knee dip we talked about. I'll try to roll through. He's Not got a good out. opportunity for reversal here. Maybe backs right there. Oh. Does get the escape. This is a good one. 6 4 in favor of Meredith. Yeah, Mike's getting a little straight legged, and it's costing him right there. You got to keep those knees bent, you got to keep short arms. There's a stalemate, and the 15 left. Now, here's a situation where when you get a two, you got to immediately look to tie something up. A two to wrist, a two to a leg. There's two more, though, for Bryce Meredith. That one may have put it out of reach. Got a grab there. Eight four in favor of the Wyoming wrestler Bryce Meredith. Meredith last year, an NCAA finalist, the first for Wyoming since 1996. So 20 years since they had had an NCAA Finals. Meredith got there but lost to Dean Heil of Oklahoma State in the Finals. They've had 32 All-Americans, and he's actually only the eighth All-American from the state of Wyoming. And this is why. He's winning, and yet he's still attacking. Well, he looks like he's about got an endless gas tank, too. Long goes in a tough spot here. And a pin. Oh, my heavens. We need to see that one again. I mean, in the blink of an eye. We'll get another look at it. I've complained that officials are calling it like a touch ball, like a freestyle ball. It's 1,001. I didn't see it there. Let's see if I'm wrong. And right there it was. Oh, I, I don't see that there. That's not 1,001. So with about 25 seconds left in the bout, it's a pin for Bryce Meredith. And a... Coach Brand says Cole has a little Iowa in him. Likes to bang on the head. He's in your face. He says he's a little small. He was the 41 pound until Meredith came in, but... He looks every bit a 149 pounder to me. Was 149 last year. Moving up. Benton Hall is a guy that is a good pinner. It's 10 this year, 31 for his career. He pinned fifth ranked Solomon Chasco of Virginia Tech earlier this year. Here on Jeffries trying to get the first points. Kind of an up and down week last week for Jeffries. He beat seventh ranked Max Thompson of Northern Iowa, then lost to the 19th ranked wrestler. Should say that's reversed. He lost to Max Coser of South Dakota State, but then beat Northern Iowa's Max Thompson. Little hip toss attempt by Mendenhall, a little heel pick by Davion Jeffries. Gonna look for a snake there. He's going to look for an inside trip off this. Jeffries reaching down at that left angle nice. and gets a takedown. And really the reason he was successful with that is the way he shifted his hips. Should have been in danger reaching for that heel pick, but shifted his hips really well. The key with Davion is which one's going to show up. Because as Sooner fans know, now you see him, now you don't. He has the ability. Sometimes he just doesn't demonstrate it. 
Although Coach Roselli feels that he's starting to make strides, starting to make some adjustments, and, and that's that's key. Sometimes you see the lights come on as a coach, and that's what you love. Good leg right there. Run, run your feet, run your feet. And out goes Mendenhall. These Wyoming boys have come to wrestle. Of course, conditioning uh, should be advantaged in the fact that they're about a thousand miles up when you're training and the altitude. First time I wrestled in Wyoming, I thought I was going to die. I was afraid I would. <laughs> Actually, the Junior Nationals in Moreland, Wyoming, had no clue as to the adjustment. Of course, it was in the summer, so it was hard to get the kind of training that you'd like in. Is that one of the, those things they can warn you about, tell you time and time again, but until you get out there, you just don't have any idea? You got that right. So we hit the end of the first period, a 2-1 to one lead for Davion Jeffries, who got the only takedown there in that first period. We'll look at it again here. Well, he's got that wizard, and he normally, from a wizard, you don't want to heel pick, but he shifted his right hip down. Very savvy on the part of Davion Jeffries. Here come the boots, the Wyoming boots. Get a stand here. But, better yet, get an escape. Jeffries with a 3-1 to one lead, and he also keeps Mendenhall from building any riding time. Well, and this is a must win because we're not going to win the next one. So if the Sooners don't win here, there's virtually no chance. Let's see Jared Sheber making his dual debut for Oklahoma next at 157 pounds against ninth-ranked Archie Colgan. Most wrestlers would be in real trouble there, but Davion, he's got a good feel. And seems to be double jointed in both shoulders. And in his legs as well. Keep that wrist. Use that wizard. He's real strong with his wizard. Don't sit there. There's that heel pick again. Gotta get height. Keep shifting that hips, get height. And there it is. Davion Jeffries, nicely done. He was out of bounds, but worked his way back in and scores two more to take a 5-1 lead. Good awareness on his part. And short time left. If he can make that an unanswered two, that's going to be big. With his length and flexibility in this match, you talked about a minute ago, able to reach down and get that heel pick. And then the other two right there. And they go outside the circle. Good well, second period here for Davion Jeffries. Well, Mendenhall can wrestle up top, so he's never out of a match. Also has a real good head and arm, a headlock that we haven't seen. So this match is far from over. Mendenhall just missed the NCAA tournament at 141 pounds two years ago, and then just missed out last year at 149. And Davion Jeffries was the Big 12 runner-up as a freshman last year for the Sooners, went to the NCAA tournament. Pushing and shoving, a little trash talking at the end of this second period. Well, Davion evidently did something that uh, Cole's not real pleased with. Oh, or the other way around. So look at the takedown Jeffries got there, middle of the second period. Shipping the hips, trying to put a leg in right there. Actually, Davion signaling that he twisted his thumb. You get a clean start here to start the third. Davion Jeffries also has riding time of over a minute. There's a dangerous position right there. So I'm they'll not, restart him? I'm not sure what the danger was other than danger to escape. May have done Jeffries a favor. No, I think he did. Jeffries trying to hang on to Mendenhall. 
who gets out quickly. Five to Jeffries. He has riding time of a minute 17. You don't want to sit over your opponent's head. Keep those hips down. Get his head down. It'd be hard to not give away that two there. <laughs> you got a leg cradle there. All he's got to do is clear his head. There's the clear, but oh, great scramble and great attack by Damian. Looking for that heel once more. And out of all of that, no points. Yeah, but you don't want to put yourself in that position too many times. There's two for Mendenhall. It's 5-4. But remember, Jeffries has riding time. There's an escape granted. Mendenhall knows he's got a score here, so he lets him up. You got to control the ties here. That's the problem with wizarding all the time. You give the guy inside position. So now it's on Mendenhall to score. Davion Jeffries with a minute 10 of riding time and a two-point lead. You want to get a good shot of your own in there. You can't finish. You eat up clock, but it's got to be a good shot. No setup. No head down. Now you're going to be in that seatbelt position. That's precarious. 15 seconds left, still in bounds. It's Mendenhall. Mendenhall reaches down for the ankle. It looks like Davion Jeffries is going to be able to hang on. He does. You add a point for riding time. Well, the Sooners are on the board. It's a 7 4 decision for Davion Jeffries at 149 pounds. In a must win, Davion Jeffries got Oklahoma on the board. Absolutely. And now here's the key you've got a young man stepping up for his team. Stepping out on the mat, he can't give up extra points. I think a win.